Hey everybody, welcome to Faith in the Forest. This is Pastor Keith. I know you're probably expecting my usual message where I'm just standing up on the mountain and I'm just recording my usual Sunday sermon, but things, they are a-changing. Uh, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know during the shutdown, we had to try and live stream, and so this setting here might look a little bit familiar to you. This is my living room, and I thought this would be a perfect place to talk about how things are changing. But you know what? Honestly, things are always changing, and sometimes we just need to be willing to change with it if we're actually going to grow in our faith. So, after the last few Bible studies we've been doing and the books we've been working through and the sermon series that I've been doing, I have been growing exponentially in my own faith. I've been looking at a lot of my own personal struggles and things I've been dealing with for years and and how they've been getting in the way of me actually serving and and then trying to just do things the way that everybody's always done them. Even though we make the joke that we left the denomination and we, we started doing things a little bit differently, when it came down to just worship and our growth, things were pretty much the same. And I just, in the Do Something series that I started to write that ended up only being two messages, it was because I had this revelation that we had to make big changes. And God is calling us all to make big changes and, and to do some sacrifice. And so for Up on the Mountain, we're going to be doing worship services differently, and so we're not going to be filming them anymore. Now, every once in a while, there will be a traditional message that will be brought out, and I will film those, and I'll put those online for you. But today is for all of you and me, because we need to do online church, and we need to do it differently. Because regardless of how we do it, whether you're watching some church service from a giant church where they're just filming in the back of the sanctuary, and you're just sort of like a fly on the wall watching, or if it's me where really it's almost the same thing, except for every once in a while I would turn to the camera and try to talk to you directly and bring you into the service. I know some of you have commented on that, and you like that. Or, you know, some of the television shows where it's just a pastor sitting at a desk and reading scripture. All of those are good, and you can grow from all of those, but we need to take it to the next level. And so here's what I'm going to ask you to, to be a part of. The growth of a brand new online, let's figure this out, how do we do digital church and actually grow in our faith and become a community. So just like up on the mountain, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. We're going to be going back into books but instead of me just preaching on the book, we're actually going to work through it during the worship service. So it's going to be more of an interactive worship service, which I'm not going to film it because a lot of the folks up there don't want to be filmed. They don't want to be on camera, and I need to respect that. But also because this is a chance for all of you to actually get more involved and get into the Word and to interact with one another instead of just sitting there at your computer screen or your TV and, and watching from afar. Right? God is calling you to, to step in. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat and, and walk on the water with Him, right? And so that's what I'm asking you to do with me. I mean, just have some faith. Let's take a chance and let's do things a little bit differently. So we are going to get into the Word again. And there's going to be books. You can buy these at ChristianBook.com. I am not endorsed or sponsored by ChristianBook.com. It's just I know that's where you can buy these things. The very first book we're going to be getting into is... Ignite Your Passion for God. Um, this is also by Kay Arthur, the author, if you've been watching some of our previous stuff, uh, it's the same author that's done the other stuff. Interesting is these are called the 40-minute Bible studies. So if you're not going to do things all week long and you're just going to log in at some point during the week and watch, watch a message, it's all right. Just get one of these books and pull out the book when we do it, and we'll start going through it together. Now, we've already started this. We're into the first week up on the mountain, and I did that on purpose because I want to see how it went before I talk to you folks. And I'm going to tell you that we're not going to go through an entire week in one video. Um, so we'll be taking these six sessions, and we'll be breaking them down into more videos. And, and we're going to have draw this out a little bit longer so that it's interesting for all of us, and we can stay engaged, and you're not trying to sit there for an hour watching a video. So... This is the first one. And then, to give you a heads up, I'm already getting in onto the second one. So, down the road, we will be doing Loving God and Others, the Heart of True Faith. So, if you want to pick up that one, you'll be ready for the next series when we get going on it. Now, here's what else I want to try and do. 
um, because I want you folks to actually engage and be a part of the church. So I get a few messages, a few comments every once in a while. I am encouraging you to comment, comment to one another. I'm going to pin at the top of every week message a prayer and praise request um, that you can just share your praises or your prayer requests. I ask you not to put any really personal information. Remember, try to keep yourself stay safe. There are, you know, there are bad people out on the internet. I don't want you to be revealing your actual location or too much detailed stuff, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's okay to, to put down some personal stuff without being too revealing so that we can pray for you, um, pray for each other. I'm also setting up a, uh, a chance for you to tithe in a different way. Uh, right now, in the past, every time we would tithe, it would just be, you would be tithing to the church, it would go into the church's general fund. Well, now I want you folks to actually have a say in what we're doing with the tithe. So I'm setting up a little thing, it's called Buy Me a Cup of Coffee. You can donate or tithe um, whatever you would like to, whatever God has on your heart. I am going to push you to try and actually give to the ministry. It, not right? It's not for my own personal gain. It's one, so that you're growing in your faith, and then we're going to look at ways for us to actually have a ministry that we'll be able to take portions of that money and give it to onto another ministry, you know, some something that we can all be like, this is what we're doing. Our online church, we're a part of this ministry, and we give to this ministry. Um, I will give you a secular example of this. I watch an online meteorologist called Ryan Hall. His channel is called Ryan Hall, y'all. And he has the Y'all Squad. And whenever there is a disaster, um, tornadoes, you know, you know, things that happen here in the United States, the Y'all Squad will donate and then they take that money and they buy the supplies that the first responders need to get help on the ground right away. They cut out a lot of the red tape. It's really, really cool. The Church on the Mountain has given to an organization that is taking stuff directly to the Ukraine, um, getting out of all the red tape. So we, as an online church family, will be able to grow into that and find a ministry that we can be like, yeah, we're a part of that. So this is how we're going to start doing things. Again, I'll keep trying to put the videos out on Sunday mornings and... The cool thing is, because you know every once in a while a video doesn't show up because, it. I'm being honest, okay, this is just me. There is no team. There's nobody behind the camera. There's no IT team. There's, It's just me. I am Faith in the Forest Ministry. So I do everything from this side of the camera to the other side of the camera to up in the studio and doing all the processing and all the administrative, everything. Um, and so there are times where it you know, a video wouldn't get out. And that's because I need a break every once in a while. And I hope you guys have been able to respect that. I love doing this ministry. I want to keep doing it. But doing it in this format, I should be able to sit down and film three or four weeks ahead. You know, I should be able to, just like regular TV shows where they film all of the um, episodes and then they just start putting them out later. I should be able to do that because I will be able to go back in as you folks are commenting, and I will be able to actually um, comment back and give suggestions and ideas and some biblical insights. And if there's enough comments on something, I can throw out a short video. And this is what I'll do for you folks. You know, if there's enough of a discussion going on in the comments, what I'm urging you to please be involved in this, then I'll go back through and I'll be like, hey, we were all talking about this. Here's a video just on this topic. And I... I'm looking forward to be able to do church this way. I think it's going to be fun, and I think that we're all going to be able to grow in our faith, and we're we're going to be able to find our purpose and, and really ignite our passion for God. I mean, what a perfect book to start with, and I didn't even mean to. It just, this was the Holy Spirit leading right there. So, look for the first video coming out. So, actually, this is this video I'm posting on Sunday morning, and the very first video for this should be coming out, like, right after this video is posted. Um, so be able to watch both these videos this week and then get your book and we'll get rolling on this. If you have any ideas or comments or, hey, if you know some other church that's doing something really cool and you're like, oh, they do this online, what about this? Um, throw it out there. Again, we still won't have music um, because of copyright re restrictions. 
Um, and honestly, the praise team has taken a break for a while. Uh, Kathy, the praise leader, she's moved on some, to some other ministry stuff she's doing right now. So, um, you know, it will just be, you know, really our, our short messages and comments and, and interacting with one another. Online church for the 21st century. Let's, let's grow this completely different. Let's be fluid. If we have to make changes, we'll make changes. But we can't keep doing what we've been doing and think that we're going to grow the kingdom when we're watching everything going on in the world right now and the God's kingdom seems to be stagnant. So, all right. I can't make you go to church, but I'm inviting you to be a part of the church. All right. Take care. God bless.